Hi, it's Mina. Welcome to my channel. So yesterday I washed my, I got a haircut, sorry, and I co-washed it. At the moment I'm trying to avoid shampoo as much as possible, but I washed my hair with this Cantu Hydrating Cream Conditioner. I, I like it because it smells very nice and it leaves my hair feeling very soft. So this was last night. I didn't put any chemicals in the hair, no creams, no oils. I just let it dry because I'm going to start today off using the clay, clay mask. Now, I like using clay because it leaves my hair, it's clay is a natural cleanser and it's good on the scalp as well. It's a natural cleanser, it also hydrates the hair and also rejuvenates the hair. So today I am going to be using Moroccan Gasso Clay. Right, let's get to it. I've changed the camera angle so you can see exactly what I'm using. I'm using a ceramic bowl and a stainless steel spoon. This is my Moroccan Gasso Clay. I'm going to use one tablespoon of that. I think that should be enough. Actually, it might not be. I'm gonna add, so you adjust this for your hair length, but I'm gonna use about three quarter of another spoon. So let, I think I've used about two tablespoons. All right, so in here, I'm now going to add some water. Now, usually I'll measure this out, you know, but I put equal parts of water to begin with. Now, this is just me mixing it up. I think I need a bit more. I try not to put too much because I'm also going to add in, so let's say I've put in three, three tablespoons. And I'm just mixing this up. Now it's clay, I like, I've been using this clay for many years. I stopped using it for a while because I started, I started exploring the Cantu range and I started using all the Cantu products. And instead of using the clay, I was using their shampoo. And it's a cream shampoo, which is great. It doesn't dry out the hair. So I've got a thick mush <laughs> for now. But I'm not going to add any more. So it's still very thick. I'm not going to add any more um, water just yet because I'm going to add some other hydrating elements. I've got some tissue over here, just in case. Let's scoop that out. Oh, bear in mind, I use warm water, not boiling, not hot, warm. You can get this from the tap as well. Great. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Next up, aloe vera. Aloe vera is lovely, very hydrating for the hair and nourishing as well. Mine is almost finished. I'm going to add... I'm going to say a tablespoon, but it looks like it's just under a tablespoon because it's not finishing. Just going to mix it in there. Let's pop the shot to get some more. So you got, it was just about a tablespoon. So that's what it looks like. Next up, honey. I love using honey because it's honey is a humectant. So what it does is it dra drags in moisture from the environment and locks that into your hair sorry i live near train track so every now and again trains do pass by so i put in one tablespoon of honey next thing i'm going to use is a bit of oil now this oil is mims ayurvedic hair oil if you look at the bottom you can see some sediment yeah so the, the seeds you can see there are fenugreek seeds there's some i think there's some hibiscus leaves in there as well but they've been sort of submerged with the herbs and spices i'll a recipe so that is coming up very soon i'm gonna add a tablespoon of that as well it smells very nice great so that's what it all looks like at the moment I'm just going to mix it all together. 
I'm gonna mix it again on my hand just before I with my hands, my fingers, sorry. Just before I put it on my hair. It looks like this spoon isn't oh it's doing the job. So this is what it looks like at the moment. You can see the consistency has changed, so good thing I didn't add too much water then. Otherwise it would have been very watery. Gonna give that one nice mix all over again. And that's what it looks like. So this is the finished product. Next up, what it looks like on my hair. Now I'm gonna say this. Um just because I may not be able to record what happens next. So I'm gonna put this on my hair. And once, after doing that, I'm going to put, use an avocado, banana, an egg deep conditioner. Put a link to the video, or the video is to come. I'll put the link in the, bio, in the description box. And then moisturize and style my hair as I like. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't really look very pretty, it just looks like mud. But it's yummy mud, yummy for the hair. This is my hair at the moment. I've just put a tiny bit of water on my hair. I'm gonna put some of this mix onto my hair now. Might be a bit excess, but better to have more than less. Okay, so again, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna use my fingers to work through it again. And then it's going to go straight onto my hair. And this is from the scalp as well. Now, if your hair is longer, I would suggest you segment or part your hair even, working segments. But my hair is short-ish. So I'm just going to put it all over. Make sure it touches the scalp. So you can see I'm massaging into the scalp. I'm gonna put it everywhere first, just to make sure I have it in every corner, and then I'm gonna work it in. The middle of my hair. Interestingly, even when my hair is short, the middle of my hair has, it's quite dense. So it takes quite a lot of product, whatever kind of product, oil, cream, conditioner, anything, mask, so this is what the hair looks like at the moment, just everything generally coated. Now I'm going to then work, and make sure that everything is well coated. And I like, I like doing this, it's easy, so easy. I make it myself, it's hydrating for the hair, I know what's in there. As much as possible, I tend to avoid things that have got chemicals in there. Okay, so I'm massaging to make sure that it gets to the scalp here. So you can do that. If you've got longer hair, I would suggest putting it on your scalp first, massaging it into the scalp, and then working down the strands of the hair. That way you know that once you get to the, to the strands, you're just either braiding it or putting it into a bantu knot and getting it out of the way. All right, my product is finished. Good thing I used two tablespoons. I thought my hair was short. Got some volume. Got a small head, <laughs> but quite a lot of hair. This is what my hair looks like at the moment. Trying to make sure I get everywhere. And I'm massaging my scalp, as you can see. So that's my hair coated. Interestingly, I detangled my hair by just combing. My hair is very curly, so it, it can tangle on itself. I'm using every last drop. 
last bit of it. Yeah. Yep, so that's my hair coated. The next thing I'm going to do is just put a shower cap or plastic bag or cling film over it and leave it for at least half an hour, 20 to 30 minutes. But I tend to use it for half an hour because I tend to just sort of go out my day. Sorry for the noise with the bowl. Again, back to the middle of my hair. So that's what my hair looks like. I'm going to put a bag over it. Because that's what I've got at the moment. I tend to be very... On that, that, on that. So that's it's all applied on my hair. So this is what my hair looks like at the moment. What I did was after rinsing out the clay, I left the clay on my hair for half an hour, covered with a nylon bag or cling film. I rinsed it out and then I used my deep conditioner. Now at the moment, my deep conditioning treatment is avocado, banana, and an egg mix. I'll make a video for that soon. And I, because there's egg in that, I washed it out with my co-wash shampoo, which is a Cantu moisturizing cream conditioner. And then I dried the hair, put some leave-in conditioner, again Cantu, put my Ayurvedic hair butter in it, as well as my Ayurvedic hair oil. Videos for that will come shortly. So this is what my hair looks like. You're probably wondering, why are you making so much, taking so much time and effort on your hair at the moment i just feel that if i start doing it now i'll get into the habit of it and my hair will start growing out healthy i don't want to be doing damage control i'd rather start off doing the right things and looking after it while it's short so that once it grows out i'm growing healthy hair so that's it thanks guys see you in the next video